Welcome back to Retro Wednesday. This is Mike, and today I want to talk to you about the future of Kenner Centurions. Now, now there's not going to be any officially licensed product. These are some fans making stuff for fans. I'm really excited about that. They're called the 80s Commanders. They are looking really good. Modernized take on the original three Centurions from the Kenner line. Now, I'm excited about this. The more I look into this, the more excited I get. We're going to be getting them in May. I'm in an, on at least one of each, maybe two of each. And I'm not just excited about these three. I'm also excited about the future possibilities. If this is successful, and if this fan-made set of figures is successful, what we could get after that, we're going to talk about all this. Coming up. So I'm really excited for these Centurion-based figures. Now, they are going to be called 80s Commanders. And we're going to have the Naval Commander on the left, which is uh, the Max one. Ace is the Air Force Commander, and then Jake is going to be the Armor Commander. Now, these do look a little bit different. They are taking some stylistic changes, a stylistic route, and I'm okay with that. Like with the shoulder pads and all that kind of stuff. They have to make them a little bit different. They can't be exactly the same one-to-one. -one. So what I'm going to do is break down side-by-side uh, -side what they look like next to each other. And then I'm going to tell you uh, what I'd like to see come in the future. And let's get right into this. Okay, starting out with Ace. Now, I will admit, Ace is my favorite of the three. I, I don't know why. I really like Ace. I think he's a lot of fun. Now, first of all, uh, looking at him, I think he looks pretty good. Now, there's a couple of things overall that I, I want to say about just the design of the figure. And... I think that each hole is still usable, but you can have plugs to fill them in. Now, I might be wrong on that. They might only make uh, a few of the holes in the suit and the arms and the legs and all that available to get used. Now, I might be wrong, and they might not have plugs to plug them in and let you use every hole. So, there's questions I still have. But uh, overall design, I think it looks really good. I'm really excited for it. It is true to the original, but then again, a modern take. A modern take on articulation, a modern take on paint and aesthetic, and a modern take on the weapons and artillery. And here is another picture. Now, these are all digital render pictures. And I do like that the backpack looks really good. It looks like we'd expect. I am noticing, though, it looks like there is some sort of weathering, so some sort of a dirty paint app addition to this. And, of course, they want to make it look as real world as possible. They want these to be true collectibles for collectors and more or less they're making what they want what they as collectors want so i think it's awesome uh, now looking at this here uh the, you do see like with the visor it looks like it's almost got like a reflective look to it so i'm kind of curious how that turns out looks really good i like how they have it set up now obviously you'll set these up however you want Here's a look at the actual accessory. So those other pictures were digital renders. This is a real world actual parts and pieces. You got the head sculpt up top, which I think looks great. And you've got the missiles, the little red missiles, which look spot on to the originals. And then you've got the backpack, which just looks slightly different than the original. It's like they took some liberties with it to make it a little bit longer, a little bit sleeker and a little more angular. I kind of like that. And then the other big missile seems to look different and i think it looks better i think all of these look better i think every one of these is true to the original with a little bit of a modern take and a little bit better design here's the digital renders of all of these parts and pieces that are going to go on there you notice the tabs and how they tab in they tab in different than the uh the old school ones they don't have kind of a the mushroom tab they have like a a narrowing cylinder that is just going to hold in with friction again that should be fine if you're just displaying this, if you're playing them around, the, the, the parts will probably fall off a little easier than the original ones. But I think long term, this will hold up better. Next up, let's get into Max, who is Naval Commander. Now, his colors are definitely far more muted than the original. And again, the helmet is the same as Ace. All three of them will have the same exact helmets. And in the originals, they had slightly different design helmets and different design suits and all that stuff. Now, side by side, the naval commander version that's coming out has a more orangish color than the yellow with the yellow pieces on it 
which I think feel more realistic. Now, of course, there's not a whole lot of yellow and orange stuff out there going on for weaponry. So it's not realistic in the first place, but this makes it feel more realistic. And then, of course, you can see more of that weathering that's added to it and all of that good stuff. I like the launcher on the backpack and all this. So definitely nice looking, uh, I'm, uh, but I don't know. Would you guys want it to be as bright green as the original, or do you like the new muted colors, more of a military look to it? Uh, that's kind of a question I'd like to hear. Here we go with a different angle on this, and again, he does look good. You can see a few things, like right there on his right knee, you can see the propeller of, that's inside of his little uh, propulsion unit there. And then, again, we get to see more of the weathering that's on that front gun on his chest, and... We get to see a little bit more, a little different angles. I'm excited for this. This looks really good. Now, again, will it be able to achieve this pose? And I'm thinking yes. I'm like, why would they show it this pose if it couldn't achieve it? So that means that you got a double jointed knee. That means you've got a, a wider range uh, at the hip. And then that means that you've got quite a bit you can do with that arm to achieve this pose. I think you can, which would make this even more exciting because the limited, uh, the limited articulation with the originals is kind of a pain. Here are the accessories, and again, they look good. Again, you see they have that narrowing cylinder that's gonna hold in by friction instead of having what we've seen before with the kind of a mushroom peg that pops in and pops out. Uh, looking at the head sculpt, I feel like it's less Max and more Doctor Strange, but it's still a very nice head sculpt. Like, it just looks really, really good. Uh, maybe not 100% spot on to Max, but I'm okay with it and uh, the launcher. Now, I doubt you'll have any spray mechanism in this stuff. I don't think there's going to be any of that kind of stuff, but I do think that you'll have removable missiles and all that kind of stuff too, so uh, that does work. And here we are with this, uh, looks like the 3D render of all this stuff, and just kind of a different angle, kind of getting to see it just a little bit different. And I do like that you can see the propellers in there. I wonder if they'll move, uh, and, and then you do see that that missile should be able to come out of there, so really really awesome accessories here we go with jake and looking at them side by side a uh, couple things that stand out to me with jake first of all you see that he's got his like six missile launcher with opening doors and all that stuff and he's also got his infrascope the infrascope that would come with the swing shot so i like that i like the touch they're, they're adding that extra one in hope we do get both and this isn't just like dream art for the future hey wait for us to put our swing shot out <laughs> does bring up a question will we be getting all the other suits eventually if this line is successful and i really hope it is successful and i hope they do uh they do well and and they do give us some suits but anyway looking at this we have the quadra chest gun we have the double uh gun on we have his big launcher on the back we're going to see more about these here in just a second and here is another picture of it and it looks pretty good i like that and you get to see kind of a better angle of that launcher a better angle of the gun and then uh really on this one you see the shoulder pads really stand out versus with the original toy who just had shoulders uh that's an artistic take and i'm okay with it i love this i'm on board with it uh get sign me up for two here are jake's accessories i think they all look great uh but a couple things point stand out to me that when you look at this now i'm wondering are you going to get two of the double guns included like i see that they have two there does that just so you can see both sides of it maybe that's why they did that maybe that's it now when you look at that large missile launcher, it looks like it only plugs in on the backpack. You can't plug it on his arm or anywhere else. So I don't know if there'll be an adapter or accessory or something. It's still very early stages. Uh, so that that might be an issue, might not. And, and looking at the antenna on that, that's a really large antenna, which actually seems like it's a lot more functional than what we got on the original toy. Then the head sculpt looks fine. It looks great. I mean, all these faces look like realistic faces. And I think it looks good. I do want to show a close-up on this missile launcher. You do see the hinged doors on it, so we can close. You can have either closed or open. If you have options, just really cool. Just kind of thinking outside the box, and I'm thinking to myself, what would I do different if I remade Centurions? So now is it obvious what the future will hold? Well, no, it's not. But what's my wish list? Well, I'd love them to make their take on the rare three items that are hard to get your your hands on to get a hold of. Obviously, Seabat, their take on the Seabat even if it's only compatible with their figures and not with the original figures, but it would be kind of a fun, happy, fun, uh, convenient thing if you could somehow clip them on to your originals. And of course, style different, looking different, color different. No way they would ever 
look like the originals. No way you could pass them for originals, but you could have something in your collection without spending a grand on each one of these or whatever nonsense and get them for maybe 60 or 70 bucks from them would be really awesome. And then again, uh, this this you could get an army of traumatizers. Think about it. Uh, you could buy up an army of traumatizers for 10 of them for what one new and one used one, one old beat up one would cost and they would look better and they would have a ton of articulation and they could do a lot more. So, I mean, just thinking about the possibilities past the first three figures gets me excited, but there's even more possibilities in this. They could go as far as giving us some of the prototype suits that were out there that were getting close to production and we could get those from them, but we could get those in a modern take. And then of course, if you start getting these modern suits, you probably want to buy multiples of their modern figures. And maybe they'll do like a toy representation colored version to go with the modern suit so that you, or, or the unproduced suit, so that you can kind of blend it in better with your vintage collection, original collection. A lot of ideas, a lot of possibilities, and this could potentially blow up big. There's also the potential of making the unreleased characters of John and Rex and that would be outstanding if they could do that. Now, I don't know if they'd be able to go as far as to make them glow in the dark, but that would be pretty cool. And then, of course, the unreleased versions of their suits would be outstanding. I don't know quite how far they would go. Obviously, the suits that they originally came with. And then maybe down the road, get one additional prototype add-on. I know there's somebody working on making their own version and 3D printing their own version. And eventually, we'll be getting one that is more or less uh, a custom to look exactly like the original of John and this suit. But uh, again, it'd be nice to have a new modern stylized take on these. So I'd like to hear what everybody thinks about this potential improved version of Centurions. They're, they're actually the ramen toys. I will have a link down below. What are you in on these? Do you wanna be in on these? Uh, are you going to be excited to get these in May? Are you gonna wait and see what everybody else says about them, then jump on them. I feel like we should support independent creators, people that are gonna give us what we want. Fans making stuff for fans, I think we should support them. I'm gonna support them. Uh, if the price is right, I'm buying two. I'm definitely buying one. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Like and subscribe, and Tidy Hanger out.